<laughs> Figure that. How you feeling? Dude, I don't really know how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling awesome, man. Like, it's a dream come true, man. And uh, God has really blessed me. You know, for for him, it was starting. You know, making my U.S. team. You know, that was a big goal. Uh, giving myself a chance to even get through the rounds here at the highest level at the World Championships. And uh, for me to PR yesterday, running a good, clean, healthy race, and, and to come out here to top it off with a medal, it's, it's, it's an absolute dream come true, man, and I'm just thankful. I think you were the happiest bronze medalist all week. Can I talk about when you saw your name go up there? And... Looking at the wrong screen? Is that... Yeah, man, I'm looking at this. I mean, when I seen that, you know, Right now, I'm speechless, man. That's big. You know, you don't really know how big that is. You know, people tell you about it for me to actually go out there because knowing how I felt, I was tired. You know, I PR yesterday. My, I thought I was going to be, you know, a little, you know, my body came down. I woke up this morning, plus thinking about this race all day, man, so I had to get going. If you've seen the race, I was almost last place coming off the curb, and I had to use all heart, man. And for me to come away and run that type of straightaway and get, get a medal, man, I'm just thankful, man. Were you pretty discouraged when you were seventh there with 100 to go? Nah, because I knew if I just, you know, stayed within myself and, and lift and give myself a chance, that's all I could ask for. You know, I really didn't see what place I was in. When I seen it on the, on the Jumbotron, I seen that I was in seventh. But I just seen you saying, vote in front of me. And I just stayed within myself and, and you know, and, and, and I did what I had to do. You know, and I just said, when I get to the line, I'm going to lean and dip. Wherever I'm at is where I'm at. And I came away with third place. When, when did you win the NCAA title? Was that 2011, 2010? 2010, yeah. So what... Just kind of go through those this three years. You kind of disappeared for a couple years, and I mean, those after I turned pro, man, I was injured. You know, um, it was a real tough year for me. A real tough two years for me. You know, uh, I got my contract reduced. You know, because I wasn't in the top 20 or top 10 in the world. You know, and um, it was just a real downtime for me. You know, but I had to find myself and I had to rededicate myself and work harder. I ever did before, you know, last year I was home in my mom's room crying, watching the Olympic Games, and, uh, you know, I just worked hard. And here I am a year later, third place at the World Championships. This this whole championship was magical for me. And I'm just thankful, man. And I'm a, I'm a living testimony that you never give up. You just always fight, man. And, and like I said, I give God all the glory because he's a, he blessed me, so I'm just happy right now. PR yesterday, how much faster can you get this year? Uh, I definitely can get faster. You know, I'm gonna go rest up. But uh, I'm not gonna. I don't like putting times on myself. But I know I can definitely get faster. Even looking at this race, you know, running 19 seconds yesterday and coming back almost running 19 seconds again. You know, just think if I was even in fifth place and to have that type of straightaway that I did, that's another 19 second run. So that means my body is ready to go faster than 19.9. So we'll just see what happens, man. I'm just thankful though. You, you have a chosen one across your chest. Can yeah. You, what's the significance? You know, that's how I feel. You know, just the order of operations where my life has been, you know, not even on track levels, just life in general. You know, I've been in a lot of situations that, you know, God has watched over me. And I felt like I'm here for a reason, you know, and I'm in the, the biggest position of my life. This has to be the, the greatest feeling of my life. And, you know, I feel like I'm the chosen one, man. You know, I was called upon to do something great in life, and that's what I'm doing now. When, when, did, when did you first feel that? What, maybe Can you maybe go into what happened? Is there a, a certain instance where at the high school, be? After high school, when I went to junior college, I went out there for football. And then after I started playing football, you know, I told myself I was going to run track. And I went out there in the spring of January, and I started winning. I didn't lose. And I made my first world junior team that went to Poland, and I was out of junior college in California. And I was ranking up against the best. You know, from that point on, I just been winning. I was at Texas A&M for one year. I won NCAAs in six months. As you would recall, I ran the fastest time in the world, and I never had seen an indoor track in my life. Ran 20.3, so that I knew I was something special. And that's why I didn't give up these last, these past two years, because I knew if I gave myself a chance and I just stayed healthy, that I could be great. And I, that's what I'm doing. So is, is, is goal the goal at some point? Definitely. You know, I'm going to just stay humble, keep working hard, and keep my goals to myself because, you know, you just you want to stay within yourself and just always be humble. You know, you don't want to get outside yourself. You know, you, you give God glory. 
and he's gonna repay you, you know? So I'm gonna just keep working hard and doing exactly what I did this year to get to this point. I'm gonna continue to do that. So you didn't, you didn't track in high school? I only ran track for three months in high school. That's it, my senior year. Really? Yeah. What short times you run? I ran 21.6. That was my fastest time, but I only trained for three months. <laughs> so if it wasn't for football, you still wouldn't be running track? You yeah. wouldn't be here today? Yeah, no, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be here today. But I always told my mom I wanted to be the fastest man in the world. So unfortunately, you say beat me to the punch. <laughs> Were you a wide receiver? Yeah, I was a wide receiver. Yeah, so, um, but it's been fun, man. Good job. Thank you. Congrats.